Greetings everyone. In this video we're going to study a game called the Chaos Game. Uh, this game was uh, explained to me by some students of mine a number of years ago uh, and I found it a little bit surprising because it sounded like a very boring game but the result of it was absolutely astonishing. Uh, I want to share it with you and eventually we're going to learn how to create and simulate this game using Scratch. So the game is as follows. Imagine you have three uh, colored circles that are your fixed targets, the red, blue, and the green. And you randomly start any place you want. Uh, I have for this uh, you know, page here, just starting from uh, the center of this uh, triangle, but you can start anywhere you want. And you run the following scheme. Uh, you choose uh, randomly one of the targets to go towards. So imagine I have uh, selected uh, the red uh, one. And what I do is I go half the way towards that target from my current location. Uh, so it is probably best explained by simulating this game and I'm gonna do that on scratch. So imagine that I uh, have uh, selected uh, you know this random place to start from and uh, what I want to actually do is I want to show you how to create make the random number uh, generation here visible so imagine that I uh, toss the two so from my current location I go half the way towards the uh, second location which is the blue circle here so imagine I do this again I toss the one, so from my current location, I go half the direction, half the way towards the uh, uh, red circle. And let's do that one more time. I toss the two, that means from my current location, I go now half the way towards the blue, etc. So if you do this a lot, uh, you start having uh, you know some uh, places marked. And when I first heard of this game, I thought this is really boring because I just couldn't see what would be the point of playing this game again and again. I didn't even see that as a game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually now clean and start this again. But I'm going to play this game on turbo mode in uh, Scratch, which means you simulate this a lot. Turbo mode, you play that by pressing the shift key. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this... Uh, many many times and actually that was too fast but uh, we'll slow it down in a few minutes but what you notice is if you play this a lot a pattern starts merging that you will recognize as the Sierpinski triangle so let's do that again maybe I'll do that uh, not in the turbo mode but let's do it a little bit slower so as this uh, simulation runs you have a lot of uh, points being marked on the screen uh, but when you play this thousands of times now I'm shifting to the turbo mode here you're going to notice uh, a very well-known shape emerges called the Sierpinski triangle which is a fractal and what I find quite astonishing about this uh, simulation is that uh, the Sierpinski triangle is a very deterministic shape. You start with a triangle, you remove the middle triangle, and then you do that for every triangle that is left, etc. Uh, what is astonishing to me is that, uh, and I'll run this again one more time for you, uh, is that uh, this uh, object appears, this mathematical object called the Sierpinski triangle appears, in a completely uh, randomized uh, procedure. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed this and you're wondering why this happens, uh, which I will not answer in this video. But in another video, we're going to learn how to create this simulation uh, in Scratch using the Scratch uh, game environment created by MIT. Alrighty, I hope you had a good time. Take care.